Hey everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you've had a great week and are ready for the weekend. I know I am. I'm going to have a stamping weekend all weekend. My husband's out of town and I'm going to stamp for fun this weekend. So I can't wait. Um, in between volleyball games and a tennis tournament, of course. Hey, I see some of you jumping on. Good. I have so much to show you today. All new stuff. Um, we've got some things that are coming that I want to show you. Um, so I'm going to get started pretty quickly. I'm going to find you guys, make sure I am in the right place. Yep. Okay. Share this over to my page and then we will get started. Okay. So let's start with prizes. Hi, I can see you guys. Yay. Good. Should we start with prizes? No, you know what? I think I'm going to show you some cards. Um, I'm getting a weird thing going on here on my phone. Messages aren't scrolling. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. So, um, my birthday last week, I got showered with a bunch of cards from my downline. So I thought I would show you some of them. I hope, I don't even know if I have all of them. There were so many and they're scattered all over my house. I had them on display, but I want to show you a few of them. Here's one from Terry. Look at that. Terry is my um, downline who has been my downline the longest. Yeah, so she's here local with me and she appears right at the top of my reports. We always laugh because she is my I'm not going to say oldest. She is my longest downline. <laughs> Maybe that's the way to say it. But look, she made this just by cutting out that beautiful designer series paper. Very pretty. Terry is a very nice and neat stamper. This one is from Donna. Super cute. She uh, personalized that little dinosaur with a pink tutu and a pink flower. Very cute, Donna. This one is from Christy. Look at this sunset Christy did gorgeous and that silver frame very nice thank you christy this one is pink too you know you'll see that my my um downline they know me very well debbie sent this lovely card beautiful now this one was a team effort this comes from deborah's team and her downline nathan made the card and they all signed it for me so when you're when you're an upline and your downline starts to sell starter kits and have their own team it's like you have little um grand baby families like they they are still my downline but they're their own little family so they uh, at their team meeting made that card for me and signed it so thank you guys here's another really cute um cute dinosaur card this is not from my downline this is from one of my closest friends Kay super cute and I should open it for you um so that you can see so cute right very very cute Kay knows me well too um Kathy this is from Kathy I love this red I love a frame on a card very nice this one and I posted a picture of this um Patty sent me a gift with pumpkins in it and there was a um some cute little like um dish towels and one of them said crazy pumpkin lady and that's totally me so Patty I love it thank you now this is so funny um Denise brought me a gift left it on my porch, I found it, and this was the card. I mean, totally me, right? And you see this cute little pumpkin right here, the buffalo check, yep. Here was the tag that went with it, super cute. Um, so remember that, okay? So then I got this one from Susie. Susie left, a, oh, and I meant to grab it. Susie left something that I think she made, a cute little tissue holder with it's just really cute. Anyway, look at that card. Don't they know me so well? So gingham, lots of gingham pumpkins, right? And then here's a funny story. I don't know if Lisa's watching. Lisa's my downline who used to live here and now lives in California. She kept saying, I sent you something and it hasn't arrived. It hasn't arrived. And then she said, you still didn't get it. It says it was delivered. And um, she sent me a screenshot. Well, it had been delivered. And I, I thought I had bought it myself because it was so cute. I have I, I buy stuff, you guys, and then forget. It arrives and I forget. So I was super embarrassed. She sent me a t-shirt that has this pumpkin on it. It's so cute. So it was very, it was perfect because I thought I had bought it myself. I even said to my husband, look what I bought. It's perfect for me, isn't it? He was like, yeah. 
Lisa, thank you. Thank you to all of you who made me birthday cards. And then I have to brag on my 16-year-old. She made this card. She painted it. She is a true artist. She's probably going to major in art in college. She's a junior right now, and she's taking AP art. So she painted me. She loves sunset clouds and all that. So she painted me that beautiful card with that, that lettering. Isn't she awesome? She's very talented. Okay, so we've got that done. How about prizes from last week? Deanna, my local downline, you were randomly chosen for sharing Facebook Live, as was Laura Hansen. Now, Deanna, I have your mailing address, but Laura, I don't think I have yours. So if you will message me yours, I will get this out to you in the mail on Monday. Thank you very much for sharing the video. This week, I have two more Hostess stamp sets, or host stamp sets. I should call them greatest part of Christmas along with some of these foil stars so next week I'll pick two people who shared the video and they will win these so make sure you share the video on Facebook to be entered in to win okay now I think let's see now I'll show you this this morning a blog hop went live on my blog for the all-star tutorial bundle and um, the October bundle is ready sorry I'm I, if I start reading comments, then I, I can't remember what I'm saying. So I'm going to pretend like I'm not reading your comments. This month's October tutorial bundle, here it is. You get it free with a $50 purchase from me online. Um, I send those out about once a week. September, I was totally bad and did not send them out until the very end of the month. But I have it on my to-do list every week. I'll send it to you when you um, within a week, hopefully, of you putting in an online order. Um, you can also buy it in my PDF store for $15 if you are already a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator you order from. Um, and then, of course, my team, they get it for free. They get all my PDFs for free. But this month is great, as always. Um, here's my project, and I'm not supposed to show you, but I'm just going to show you because it's super cute. Okay, there, that's your sneak peek. And on the blog hop, you can see I always make a second project to go using whatever I used on that project. And do you guys recognize this? It's on, it was what we put on the box. Was it last week or week before? I just turned it into a card. Okay, so that's that, the all-star tutorial bundle. If you go to my blog post before today's blog post, you will find all the details for that, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna turn you guys around because I have some things to show you, like the new paper trimmer is finally here. Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna cover you guys up and switch you over. Now close your eyes for just a minute while I get everything adjusted. All right, so the new paper trimmer. You know we retired our old paper trimmer because we were having supplier issues. And so Stampin' Up! just said, you know what, forget it. We were having blade issues, all kinds of issues. So they said, you know what, forget it. We're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna come up with a new trimmer um, that is better, that it's going to be, it's gonna include the things that were wonderful about our other paper trimmer, but it's going to have some improvements. And so this is it. It became available for demonstrators to order yesterday. No, the first. And see that arm comes all the way out and goes all the way up to 17 inches. That's a lot, 17 and a half, really. Um, and I overnighted it, I expressed it, um, express mail, you know, like, what do they call that, one day air? And it didn't come, it got stuck in Salt Lake City. So it was late, but I still got it yesterday. And I've been playing around with it, I love it. Um, it's very similar, but then there are some really cool improvements. I feel like it's sturdier, this thing, um, stays closed. I don't know. I feel like this is better. Also, there's not that that rubber piece in the gutter that I always lost when have to order another one. There's, um, it's just there. You, nothing is going to fall out. It has this hook that you can hang it if you have like a pegboard in your craft space. You can hang it. Um, the numbers are underneath this layer of plastic, so they're not going to rub off. Anyway, we're gonna use it today. It's really awesome. 
We don't know yet when it's going to be available for customers. Uh, Stampin' Up's being really careful. They don't want to get into a back order situation right away. So they're gonna open it for demonstrators first, keep an eye on inventory. And when they feel comfortable with the levels of inventory that they have, they're going to open it up to customers. It's only $25, which is a great price for a trimmer. Um, if you can't wait and you want it right now, you can actually get it by buying a starter kit. Um, when you buy a starter kit, it's like you get the demonstrator perk. So you get to add this to a starter kit. Plus, you know, a starter kit is $99, anything you want, up to $125. So not only would you get this, but $100 more of product of your choice for just $99. Okay, so just letting you know that. Um, the details, well, there's not really, I didn't really post any details. Right down here, I kind of explained it. I'm going to show you this other thing first. It's a sneak peek. Thanks, Carla. I painted my nails yesterday because my nails look horrible and I've already screwed them up with glue dots today. I don't know. I can't do my nails. Um, I can't keep them nice and neat anyway. Okay, so paper trimmer. Starter kit. You can only get in the starter kit. So you'd have to go over to the starter kit um, page on my blog that's at the top. Um, if you have questions about the starter kit or this, let me know. But remember, right now it's not available to customers and we don't really know when necessarily it's gonna be available, okay? Now, here's another sneak peek thing that's coming. It is called Christmas Time is Here Sweet. This is gonna be a, a November availability for everybody. It is gorgeous. I have gotten it, but I have not gotten to play with it. Um, Again, you can add this to your starter kit too, this and the paper trimmer today, but you can't buy this as a regular customer until, oh, I love that, until um, November. Look at that, oh my gosh, I love that. I just pulled it out and I haven't really spent any time looking at it. It's got some gold foil on it and the package has four sheets of each pattern, great for making Christmas cards, right? Because we usually need more of the same pattern. So be watching for a class for sure um, from me in um, November. The gold ribbon, the gold enamel dots, super cute. I like these, you know, we have those gold, oh, you know, the what are those big things that we have in the annual catalog? And I just, I don't use them enough because they're big but these like would lay flat and would go great through the mail here are the dies and it's a double stamp set okay beautiful sentiments it is red rubber and photopolymer and they come together i can't remember they told us why and now i'm being a bad demonstrator and i can't remember the reason but um this you stamp inside of that <laughs> and of course you want that to be Clear, right um, I will give you more details on that when I play with it I haven't I haven't really played with it I just got it hi guys thanks for joining me and then look I love this die right here and this die right here and this and this I love all of it it's really really beautiful and then so if you buy there's all these different ways to buy it of course um, you can buy the whole suite too um, but there's this really cute bracelet that matches. Look, and it's like the Alex and Ani bracelets. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so that would make a fun gift. Um, and then you could make some, you know, the card with the stamp set, whatever. Anyway, it's just beautiful. And it will be available in November to customers, November 1, November 1, November 1st. And um, yes, it is distinctive, Stacy distinctive is that where it's um, like a laser etched into the photopolymer but then when you stamp it it gives that those dimension it's really beautiful um, but it's coming I probably won't talk about it much until we get closer I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that if you are interested in this or the trimmer you can get it right now in a starter kit okay all right Next is the Gather Together class to go. Hopefully you saw this. Did I list it last week? Maybe I did. Um, this is a Gather Together class to go. Three cards, three 3D projects. They feature the Gather Together bundle and the Come Together designer series paper. 
Um, it is available. You can click this link on today's um, PDF and that will take you right to um, the information page. And uh, there are four options, of course, with the bundle, without the bundle, PDF only, and then my team. They also get a discounted kit. And then my Elfie class stamp a stack. He's so cute, look at him. This class comes with a 30 minute video, 30 minute coloring video, um, showing you how to use your blends to color these. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna tell you? It comes with half a pack of the Night Before Christmas designer paper, comes with a bolt of ribbon. Um, it is does not include dies or punches, it's just the stamp set. There's no dies that go with this. Uh, you can, people ask me all the time if they can buy an extra set of the make and takes. And I 99% of the time say no, because if you guys saw my um, class yesterday, the let it uh, the snowman season class, I cut a hundred make and take packs. So, cause I had a hundred people register. And if I had 30 or 40 people add on another make and take pack with that, it would be even more. And I just physically can't do that most of the time. But with my Christmas card classes, I usually will offer an additional uh, make and take pack with the class purchase. And I am doing that this time. So you can add on another set of make and takes for $20. You can also add on the blends um, at a discount. I pay the tax and shipping. And um, if you buy all of the blends, because I think there's eight this time, I'm actually gonna give you the color lifter for free. Um, deadline is October 25th. They'll ship November 1st. And shipping, of course, is priority, and it is $8. Um, option one with a stamp set is 44. Option two without the stamp set is 31. PDF only includes the link to the video. That's 15, and that's in my uh, PDF store. And my downline get the make and takes for $15. Okay, so there's that. I will add those links here on the video when we are done. By the way, you guys, gosh, why I'm like short of breath. I sound like I've been running. Too much talking. Um, this class, you guys, you guys seriously blew me away. This was my Alzheimer's fundraiser. Um, and like I said, I sold a hundred kits or I sold a hundred, a hundred of you ordered so that I can send you the kit for free. They shipped yesterday. We, at my last count, we were over 30, uh, no, I'm sorry, $2,800 that I am, I've had some other just random donations come in. Um, so $2,800 to the Alzheimer's research. Um, I'm actually kind of holding off a, a few minutes before I donate because I wanna donate it to exactly the best place. So my mom's helping me um, figure out the best place where our money will go to make the biggest difference. You know, sometimes you donate to organizations and like a huge percent of it, percentage of it goes to pay the people who are running the foundation and I don't wanna do that. So she's um, asking my dad's doctors and stuff, trying to figure out the best place to give that money. So, but it's gonna go towards Alzheimer's research. So anyway, thank you, Elizabeth. You guys keep saying congratulations, all that to me, but it's to you too, all of you who, participated. Many of you are demonstrators yourself and you bought the product for me just to help and I, I am grateful for that. So anyways, those mailed yesterday. Hopefully they will be there soon and I am super, super grateful. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, this week we are doing the two every season bundle. Let me pull it over here. This is it, and we're gonna make three projects. And if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I will send you the project make and take kit for free with a $35 order. Um, I've got a, the host code thing here, let me tape it down. Um, you have until Monday at midnight to place your order using this host code. And if you use this host code, by Monday at midnight and your order is over $35, I will send you all three of today's make and takes for free. That looks crooked. I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to see on the on the on my iPad. Let me see. Because it's like a eight second delay, so I have to see. All right. Anyway, we'll leave it alone. So if you like this stamp set, 
um, and you like these projects, then make sure you get your order in by Monday at midnight, okay? Uh, let's see, I was gonna show you, here's last week's. I send them like this, you get the ribbon, everything that you need, you just have to provide the stamps. Whatever the bundle is, that's what you have to provide, and ink and adhesive, of course. So there's that. Um, seems like I was gonna tell you something else about that, and I have lost my train of thought. I don't know, I haven't had, well, okay, I had one Diet Coke today, so that is why my brain is fuzzy. <laughs> It's a lack of caffeine, really trying. Okay, so today we've got three projects with the two every season bundle. And I love this bundle and I feel like this is kind of an old school stamp set, if that ma makes sense. This reminds me of things from years past with Stampin' Up. It's super cute, really traditional, very traditional font, um, and it's just fun. It's really fun to have things that you can punch out and these punches are great because they're small. If you have any kind of arthritis or dexterity issues, these punches are easier than the larger punches. My youngest daughter, she is almost, oh God, almost 11. How is that possible? She turns 11 next month. Um, she helps me a lot punching and die cutting and she has she has stopped using the big punches because they pinch her and she just doesn't have like the strength to do it with one hand or whatever and she doesn't like it but she does really like the smaller punches so if you're someone who maybe struggles with that these punches are really great for that too okay yeah Catherine says she loves the sizes of the images what i really like is that there's you know like large medium and small and all the small images match the punch I guess not these, the, it would be the middle heart, but the small leaf, the small snowflake, and the small bat, they all match the punches. So really cute. All right, shall we get started? And I have some additional projects that I know I'm gonna forget to show you, but hopefully, I'm gonna leave them right here, hopefully I can remember. Okay, let's get started. Let me get my tray over here. It takes me a minute to get everything situated. The first project we're gonna make is a project that somebody in Michigan, um, <laughs> who said that, Amory, yes, because I'm having some, I think I have, I'm having some consequences from Diet Coke, so I am really trying, but it is very, very hard, very hard. <laughs> um, anyway, somebody in Michigan, when I was at Rhonda's event, gave me this super cute box. She, hers was different, um, and I loved it, and I, unfortunately cannot remember her name at all, but um, she, I thought it was really cute, cool and I'd never seen anything like it. It opens up like this, no adhesive, and it just has these little folded sides. She had a square, just the regular square um, peanut butter cup, but I have the Halloween ones, so I put two of them in there and they fit perfectly. It does have a magnet that you can't even see. I'm gonna show you that. Isn't that fun? So one thing I want you to remember today when we're making these is that maybe you have no need for Halloween projects, but you might have need for Valentine's projects or Christmas projects or Thanksgiving projects. Any of these can be changed with the same stamp set and you have a project for a different event, holiday or season, okay? Okay, let's get started. Now, we are going to need Hold on, we are going to need, I always put what I need first on the very bottom of my stack. I don't know why that is. You're gonna need a piece of basic gray cardstock. And remember, over at pinkbuckaroo.com, right now, under the last photo, there is a link to this PDF. This is what I'm going off of. Um, it has today's three projects, all the measurements, or all the products, all the measurements, and everything that you need. It also has links to all the things that I talked about a minute ago, okay? pinkbuckaroo.com. All right, so you're gonna need a piece of basic gray cardstock that is nine and a half by seven. We're gonna score the long side at two and a fourth, five and a fourth, and seven and three fourths. Then you're gonna score the short side at two and five. And now we're gonna use the paper trimmer, the new paper trimmer. Okay, let's look. This 
one of these end sections is wider than the other. So I want you to look, the wider end right here is the one that flips down and the smaller one's the one that flips up. So if we take this out, let's look at it. We're gonna turn this, here's the smaller end. We're gonna cut everything on the side out except for these two right here, okay? This is the center, you can see it's a square. So we're gonna leave those and we're gonna cut these other two out. Hopefully that makes sense. Now I'm gonna use a paper trimmer because, you know, a lot of times, not just sometimes, but a lot of times my cutting isn't straight. I know, can you imagine? I'm sure none of you have that problem out there, but if you use your trimmer, see so you can see right there, and I can't stick my head in there, but you can line that up right there and make a perfect cut. You know, so that it's not kind of wonky with your scissors, like mine is a lot. Well, let's see. Line your, your score line up in that gutter and go down right there. Thanks for sharing, guys. I appreciate that. And right there. Oops, I didn't go quite far enough. This is um, a good paper cutter, too, to cut rectangles out of the middle of things. That's one thing that these paper cutters are really good for. If you need to cut a window, you can see exactly what you're doing. And again, if you're just joining us, this is the new Stampin' Up! trimmer. It will be available soon for customers, but right now it's only available to demonstrators and to people who are buying the starter kit. And it's only $25. There we go. All right. Now we do need to add a couple more score lines. And we're gonna do that with just our bone folder and a ruler. Here on these side flaps, we're gonna make a, and I couldn't find a pencil, I'd rather use a pencil, but who knows? I just ordered some more pencils from Amazon. So it's three inches long, we're gonna make a mark at one and a half, and then we're gonna take our ruler and line it up at that tick mark and down here at the corner and just make a score mark with your bone folder and then do it again right here. Um, this ruler, by the way, is like 50 cents at Walmart. It is my favorite ruler. It is wood, it has centimeters and inches and it has a steel side right there. So every paper crafter needs a ruler close. So if you don't have one, grab one the next time you're at Walmart, 50 cents or something. When school starts, I always buy another one <laughs> because it never fails. I can't find my ruler. It's, you know, I have like three of them and I can't find them. My kids borrow them. Oh, somehow got some ink on there. Okay, so now what you can see that's gonna happen is that these are just naturally gonna fold because did I? No, there we go, there we go. Thought maybe I did that wrong. Okay, so they're just naturally gonna fold in like that. And these are all going to fold up and over, okay? But let's round the corners first. Let's get our punch. Why can I never remember the name of this? The Detailed Trio Punch. And we're gonna round the four corners on, the two corners on each end. All right, there we go. Now, we need, goes like this. If you need to look at the video, I did record this one, uh, clean recording, and it will be up this evening, okay? Um, in case you wanna come back and watch it. Now, these are button magnets. Whoops, if you wanna look and see what they're called. I have linked them on Amazon, from Amazon over my blog today. 100 of them for like $8. Is there a stop under the cutting arm so you can cut really small pieces of paper? Is there a stop under the cutting arm? Janet, I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. I'm not sure I understand. I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm not sure. Okay, so these are button magnets. And I'm gonna just put some glue dots on them. First, I'm gonna put a glue dot on that one and I'm gonna put it right here on the bottom flap, okay? And they're stacked, see them? There's two of them. Now I'm gonna pick up a paper stop for really small paper. I don't think I don't think so. I'm not totally clear. I'm gonna look in a minute. We're gonna talk more about this in a minute, Janet. Okay, so glue dot there, right? 
and let's fold it all and see exactly where we want that top. We want to make sure it lines up with the sides and push that in. Okay, see how it is? And ta-da! Fun, right? Easy. Okay, now we want to cover those magnets up, however. And I am using the Monster Bash Designer Series paper. You're going to need four pieces. Um, two of them, two of each of the sizes, and they're listed two and seven eighths by one and five eighths, two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. You're going to round the corner, the top two corners of one and the bottom two corners of the other, okay? And I'll show you why. We want to, we want the words to be facing the right way both times, okay? So like for the inside, we're gonna adhere this one like this. So when you open it, the words are on, you know, they're not upside down basically is what I'm saying. And then over here, we've rounded the top corners and we could put that right there. And now we're gonna do the same for the top. Decide which one you want in the front. I think I want this one. This little like um, spooky newsprint paper has some, some different little images. The first one I did, I got the moon right there, which was perfect. But then the second one I did today didn't have any images. It did have a bat there, which is totally random. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to, let's see, well, that's going to be in the front. This is going to be on the inside. Um, you're going to cover it up mostly anyway. So really any of it will work. And any of the paper in that paper pack really would be fine. These would be great. Whoa. These would be great for party favors, having them all on a table. Okay. So there we go. Let's get some Reese's in here like this. Fold that up like that all right okay now let's make our bats we're gonna use just a strip of basic gray and i've got all three bats here the middle bat is actually hanging upside down i didn't realize that the first time i stamped them and i had to redo my project so just keep that in mind but we're going to use the small one the small bat is what matches the punch i'm going to stamp him just memento on basic gray color him in with some wink of stella because of course we need sparkly bats and then get your little punch these would be cute scattered on a table kind of like um you know table oh what do they call that table confetti or you know you can buy it the plastic stuff in a little bag i think this would be cute just sprinkled on a table all right, now let's flip these over and grab some mini dimensionals that are black, the black mini dimensionals. Remember the black dimensionals come in a multi-pack. So you get two pages of, or two sheets of the minis and two sheets of the regular size, okay? All right, where is my thing? Here we go. All right, so let's put them, they're just gonna be kind of flying up randomly. And then I'm gonna get my take your pick tool, which seems to be having a problem. Let's see, let me get a little bit of that putty right there. See that? I didn't have the cover on it, so the putty was yucky. And I can just pick up these little dots, gray, smoky, or not smoky slate, basic gray and basic black work just fine here. Okay, now for the inside, we're gonna use all three of these bats. And remember, whoops, remember this guy is upside down. Yes, Patty, confetti, yes. You could use these for confetti. Patty loves confetti. She is our celebrator on our team. She likes to do lots of confetti. We love confetti. Okay, there we go. Now we can move these guys out. I just stamped those kind of randomly on the inside and I did it on the wrong place. Well, that's okay. It can be under the candy too, but 
let's put some up here because this is really where we want them. Hanging right there from the top. The little upside down guy and we'll put one right there. Then I'm going to color these in. With a wink of Stella, making them sparkly bats. They turn into Edward Cullen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Twilight, do I have any Twilight fans out there? Sparkly vampires. All right, now, now let's go back. Actually, let's do the ribbon, the basic black scalloped ribbon. Very cute. We're gonna tie that around the top up here. Make a bow. This one, this scalloped edge ribbon, please stampin' up. We need it in white. We need it in real red. We need it in pumpkin pie. We need it in granny apple. Oh, maybe soft suede. I don't know. We need it in every color because it's super cute. Okay, we're ready. Let's close them up. Now, if you're looking for those magnets, guys, over my blog post today, it's there, it's linked. Okay, last thing we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp the Happy Halloween, and we're gonna squeeze it down underneath that lid. Well, that was weird. Right there, I stamped it in um, Memento on Crumb Cake. All right, now let's go back to that question. Where did it go? Janet. The old trimmer was flat under the arm and you couldn't line up small pieces of paper perfectly straight. Strips under an inch or so. Now, Janet, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna confess something to you. I didn't use the old trimmer very much. So I don't really know what you're talking about, but look, does that, does that explain things to you? Where's my old trimmer? Oh. You know, of course, my old trimmer is missing its thing. Are you talking about, you're talking about this thing right here, I bet. This paper, this stop right here, so you could do something small like that. Is that what you're talking about? I bet that's what you're talking about. So, this, see up here? This has an edge up here. If that's what you mean, the answer is yes. Now, I want this to be just about yes okay good i'm glad i i understood kind of i did i you know here's my confession on the scale of things that i do i do a lot of paper cutting and that trimmer just whoops wrong one isn't like i need a chopper so i use a chopper see how i'm just putting this right underneath there so it kind of blends in with that paper so i use a guillotine I prefer a guillotine paper cutter. That's why <laughs> I didn't use it very much. So anyway, yes, I'm glad I could answer your question. All right, so there we go, you guys. What do you think? Super cute and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups for every holiday. And now I'm gonna send these and get them out of here because if I can't have a Diet Coke, I'm gonna be very tempted by the um, Reese's peanut butter cut right here. I cut that differently. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to shake the camera. I cut this apart because for some reason on this one, that Happy Halloween was not fitting. But here I was just able to cut it like that. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, two different ways. Okay, I hope you guys like it. What do you think? Fun, fun, right? Triangle box. I am not the original designer of that. I am, I have a terrible memory and cannot remember who gave it to me? I can see her adorable little face and I cannot remember. She told me, I asked her her name, she told me, and it went in one ear and out the other, so I apologize. But it is a brilliant design and I love it. Okay, let's do the next project. And I know you're gonna be shocked to hear this, but we have more little Debbie snacks today. And just to let you know, today at Walmart, I got some more little, they're not little Debbie, they're the hostess snacks and they are coming. <laughs> so how many of you love little Debbie snacks? You know what? The reason why I love doing little Debbie snacks is because they're cheap, you guys. They're cheap. They're, you know, 
a big treat, you know, for the for the amount. I mean, a little Debbie box is like, I don't even know, less than $2 and you get eight snacks in there. So I really like to do little Debbie. Oh, Denise says, yay, little Debbie. Okay, so here are these funky pumpkin delights. That's what they're called, pumpkin delights. They always look way cuter on the box and they come looking a little wonky. Look at his nose. <laughs> <laughs> and what I found today when I was pre-recording, he looks like he's drooling too. <laughs> what I found today when I was making my second one um, was that they're not all created equally either. The, which I can't tell, I think this was the second one I made. He was almost didn't fit in the box because he was so fat. So just to let you know, you might have to make a little adjustment. I don't know. But anyway, it's a slider box like this. Now, I'm trying not to do specifically Halloween, thankful, so this can carry us through November, right? Just a little treat. He's, I guess he's a jack-o'-lantern, but it says pumpkin delight. So we're just going to say he's a pumpkin cookie, right? Okay, now that's what we're going to make. And you can see the return of my very favorite punch, the Apple Builder Punch. And we're going to use this leaf in the two every season because... I think this makes a much better pumpkin leaf than what comes with the apple builder. The apple builder leaf to me looks like an apple leaf, right? And I guess that's why it's called an apple builder. But you know, the stamp set has pumpkins too. So, but this is a great companion to our apple builder slash pumpkin builder um, punch. All right. Okay, let's make the holder first. You're going to need a piece of soft suede that measures three and three fourths by nine. Um, remember, the measurements are all right here on this PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo. All right, three and three fourths by nine. We're gonna score, first let's do the short side, half an inch from each end. So half an inch and three and a fourth. Then you're gonna turn it and score the long side at four and a fourth and four and three fourths. Um, this box is only half an inch thick, so hopefully your little pumpkin delight doesn't get, I don't know, squished and fatter. You never know, you never know. Those poor babies, they travel on the truck over to Walmart in the heat, and you know, they just thrown around, poor guys, but who cares, they taste good. This third one, let's see. The first two fit just fine, although the second one was a little plump. We'll see about this guy. Okay, so you're going to snip, 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 right? And we're gonna fold this up just like this. Super e easy construction. But before we do that, we're gonna make that hole. See how I did that, that um, ribbon, how it goes through that hole? So I'm gonna use my half inch circle, <laughs> Amory. I would love for somebody to call me little. Anytime anything, Referring to me as little, yes, I will take it. <laughs> okay, half an inch circle right in the middle. And if you want to make sure that it's centered, then get out your ruler. But I'm going to eyeball it. Then I'm going to kind of fold it over and match and punch through the back. So now we've got two. Then we've got a piece of DSP. This is the Monster Bash paper. But this pattern is a crush curry baroque pattern which would be perfect for thanksgiving so we're going to measure match that up and punch it so that it, that circle is right there okay easy now get your adhesive don't use snail guys your 3d projects cannot use snail adhesive you've got to use tear and tape tombow or if you have fast fuse remaining in your drawer like me fast fuse would work great okay so i um attached i adhered glued, taped, however you want to say it, the little squares to the inside of, well, actually, I should have done them to the back, but that's going to be fine. We're going to squeeze this one. We want the, the front to be the last part that is adhered. You know what? I'm just going to take those out because I did it wrong and we're going to fix it. Okay. Pretend that didn't happen. Put adhesive on the outside of those squares and fold up the back first. <laughs> it wouldn't be Facebook Friday without a screw up. Whoa. All right, so there we go. Oh gosh, and I shook the camera again. There we go. Now, here's the front. Let's put adhesive. Oh, try it again. Put adhesive on the inside flaps. 
of the front. The reason we do the front flaps last is to create a smooth, rounded edge. Okay, smooth, rounded edge right there. Now let's get our chunky monkey, um, our, our chubby pumpkin delight. And I'm gonna use the, this is the mango melody, no, mango melody, magnolia, good grief, magnolia lane ribbon combo. Oh, why does it have to have such a complicated name? You know what I'm talking about, the ribbon that goes with the magnolia stuff. We should just call it crumb cake ribbon, because that's what it is. Now I'm wrapping him, and I'm sliding him, and oh, is he gonna fit? Come on, chubby guy, there we go, got him in. Now take your ribbon and thread it through the outside of that hole. Now you could do without the hole, but I think this is more fun, right? Keeps it, the ribbon in, intact inside there, and it's just a little more fun. All right, tie a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, are you giving me permission to have a Diet Coke? You know what? I'm going to have to because you know what happened right before, right before I went live, my ice maker was out of ice. There was no ice in my fridge at all. And I don't know how to fix that. And my husband is out of town. So you know what's cold is the Diet Coke. It's cold in the fridge. So yeah, I think that's going to have to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I have taken a strip of soft suede, one inch, it's just a one inch strip, and I have embossed it with a corrugated embossing folder, and I'm just gonna make it go across like that. So cute. Now, our pumpkin, let's do our pumpkin. We're gonna punch the pumpkin from pumpkin pie, and we did this kind of the same thing a few weeks ago when we did the, um, Harvest Hello's uh, Facebook Live. Uh, we just punched it out of pumpkin pie and then I'm taking my light pumpkin pie, whoa, that was a fat one, blend, and I'm just gonna make these like, you know, the pleats on the pumpkin. <laughs> That's not what they're called, the ridges. And I want it to go be as light as possible. The pumpkin pie stamp and blend light will fade but you will still be able to see those lines. You can also use Calypso Coral Light, which I think I might like a little bit better because it, it's even lighter. Then take your pumpkin pie ink. You're right, Janet. I am like the Snickers commercial except with the Diet Coke. That's what I'll tell my doctor. I can't, I can't stop Diet Coke because I turn into a grouchy old lady and I'm just awful. I'm sure she would roll her eyes. All right, ink the edges with pumpkin pie. Yeah, you know what? I it's it's sad. It's like it's like a smoker giving up, you know, cigarettes. It's very difficult. Okay, now here's the stem. We've talked about the stem. It's like an apple stem like that and a pumpkin stem that way. So I did, I squished him in there, Anne-Marie. I made him fit, kind of like my jeans. I squished myself into my jeans <laughs> yesterday. Oh goodness. Okay, so there is our pumpkin. All of a sudden it looked like an apple to me, but no, it's a pumpkin, it's all right, calm down. Oh, hello. The wheels are coming off. The wheels are coming off. Okay, we're gonna make some leaves. We're gonna use crushed curry ink on, is this stamp clean? Okay, crushed curry ink on crushed curry cardstock, two of them. And then I'm gonna use my chamois. I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna do two soft suede leaves. Close that up. Yeah, my mom jeans. No, that's my daughter with the mom jeans. Wait, you guys, if you don't have teenagers and you haven't seen the return of the mom jeans, it is crazy. They want the super high-waisted mom jeans. And Ellie even has some baggy ones that are just, ugh, so yuck. I will never wear those again. You know, from like the 90s. And they think they look so cool with their scrunchies. Oops, that's the wrong punch, hello. Where does, did I put the other punches? 
Um, they think they invented scrunchies. They think they invented mom jeans. But little did they know they've turned into their mother already. And they're only a teenager. Yeah, what goes around comes around, right? What's gonna be next? What is gonna be next? Yeah, Kathy, mom jeans are yuck. Really yuck. I if you you guys have seen that Saturday Night Live spoof where they show the mom jeans. That's all I can think about every time my daughter wears them. I'm like, Ellie, if you only knew. They look so gross. Okay, now they are very popular, Cindy. They are so popular. I don't get it. Now, Denise, bell bottoms will never. No, 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 no. Oh, that I will never wear. Okay, now I actually cut out one too many. You really only need five. Um, let's get our mini dimensionals. And we're gonna put one of them right here. We'll do the mossy meadow. And then we'll do a soft suede. Uh-oh. And then we'll do, oh, did you guys see? This was my birthday present from my husband. I got a new watch and he bought me the bigger sized watch, which I was like, oh, oh this is not gonna be good. And it's really big and I can't, I bought the same kind of um, watch band that I had for my other one and it's, it just doesn't fit right. Like you can remove these and if I remove one more, it's too tight and one, you know, like the one I have now and it, I don't know. Anyway, so I was thinking, oh, you know, and I didn't want to say, oh, I didn't want, you know, I don't want the big one, but guess what? I love it because <laughs> It's bigger, the time is bigger. I can see things so much easier. <laughs> so now I'm like, thank God he bought the bigger one. I would not have bought the bigger one for myself. It's good. And it doesn't feel too big on my, my wrist. I just need to find a band that, that works with it. Okay, so here is the sentiment. Thankful each day for you. And I don't want the whole thing. I want it to be just thankful. All right. Yeah, Robin, you like it too, Stacy. You too. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. My, I had the Series 1. I had it for a while, and it just was being real glitchy and slow. And I didn't even ask for it, and he surprised me with it. And the, the real reason, I believe, is because my little one, my daughter, she wanted me to get a new watch so that she could have my old one. <laughs> and so she kept telling him, buy mommy a new watch, buy mommy a new watch. So he did. And so, yes, she got a present that day as well because she got my old watch. Um, did I mention I put a two and a fourth inch vellum circle here just to kind of, you know, a vellum background kind of um, softens the area so that it's not so busy and it kind of brings in that, I don't know, it brings your eye in a little bit better, by the way. That's what I did. So anyway, yes, I got a new watch. I love it. It's big. And I had no idea that I was having a hard time seeing the other one until until I got this one and look, it's so big. Yeah, I know, but I gotta figure out how to get it to fit right. I've ordered another band, we'll see. All right, there we go. A lot of random information in between making a cute slider box. You guys, you could do this, I think with the oatmeal cream pies, the, I think they're about the same size, the caramel apple oatmeal cream pies also, and then you could do the caramel apple here instead, but, if you want to just do a pumpkin, something that's not Halloween focused, do this cute little pumpkin and use the leaf from the two every season because it's a much better pumpkin leaf. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I love it. Yes, she's a smart kiddo. Anne Marie, we, we call her, well, we have several nicknames for her, but she is like dripping water. That third, the third kid, I don't know. Do any of you guys out there have three kids? That third kid knows how to get her way. She is, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease and she will, she will wear you down. She's very smart. She's very, very smart. Okay, last project. Oh, good. 10 minutes left. Now, this one, I decided, I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the heart or the snowflake. So I decided to go with both. Now, here is a card 
the, let me let me tell you my thought process. Here's a card we made um, at a team training last month. I designed this for my team, um, and I loved this card. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna make that with the snowflakes. But for some reason, I did, and it's okay. But I didn't love it as much as this, right? So I was like, well, I do like the colors. I like those snowflakes. So what else can we do? So I looked around and found a card sketch. And this is what I came up with. And look, I was able to use the heart as well. So that's what we're going to make. And we're going to, again, use this really fun shimmer white stampin' embossing powder. Okay, so let's stamp. We're going to stamp the snowflakes. We need four snowflakes. Whoops not in Coastal Cabana yet, in Whisper White. This is where that white ink came from. I have over inked my white ink pad and I'm finding white ink everywhere. So, <laughs> yes, Carla, right? Oh no, don't tell me that, age 17. You know, with a third kid, we're kind of like, you've seen your sisters, the consequences and everything, so good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> we're tired you know like learn from your sisters please we're tired by that third kid oh you know what let's do the embossing buddy little Debbie demonstrator that's funny Nathan hello Nathan did you um see me show your beautiful card at the beginning Nathan also oops this is the wrong one I think yep this is the wrong one um that's the medium one that we're going to use in a minute Nathan is in my second level. His upline is Deborah, and he's the one that made that beautiful card. He also made a super amazing Halloween card for our swap that I need to share. I have my team swap cards sitting out to share with you guys, and I just haven't done it. But Nathan is a very skilled stamper. Okay, now, I've stamped those in Whisper White on Coastal Cabana. Here's this really fun shimmer embossing powder. Well, let's do this. It's like glitter. So if you don't like glitter, this may not be for you because it is glittery a lot. <laughs> it's a lot glittery, but I like glitter, so I don't mind. Um, and then let's do the red. Let's do the heart. Our number three of four is the squeaky wheel. Well, Lisa, yes, my daughter is ADHD too, yes. <laughs> Yes, we have that too. Um, but she's just like a master negotiator, our third one. My mom has the nickname, she calls her Radar because she sneaks under the radar. She knows how to do things so that she's not gonna get caught. Um, but then she's dripping water. She just persists, persists, persists in getting what she wants. So <laughs> she's a character. We say, we have a saying, and maybe I shouldn't say this, it's funny. We say with her, it's Yale or jail, that one. <laughs> because she is like a master uh, negotiator, but she also knows how to be super like sneaky and she's super creative. Her and her little buddy Carter who lives next door, they hatch all kinds of schemes and plans. My other two were never like that, but she, uh, she's a hoot, she's a character. That third one, man, she was our surprise and she has been surprising us ever since. Isn't it funny how your kids are all different? You know, we say that all the time. We have three girls, same parents, same parenting, and they could not be more different. It's really nurture versus nature is interesting, isn't it? Okay, so four snowflakes embossed. That was a mistake. And then we've got the heart. And what did I do with my week of Stella? I did not mean to put it away. We're going to color in this heart right here with Wink of Stella. Because you know what? We don't have enough glitter. We need more. So let's get these and we're gonna punch these out. Ninja with Sneaky, oh. You know, luckily, Addie, she's a pleaser for us. She's very sensitive. She doesn't want us to be upset with her. So she doesn't do anything too terrible, but she, you know, she'll do things that you're like, how did you even think of that? She's funny. But then she, she's sensitive. Like if she gets in trouble, she's just devastated. Whereas my 
other two are like, oh, all right, whatever. Okay, let's close that. Now, we've punched those out with our super cute um, little baby mini punches that I just love. Let's put this card together. I've got a Whisper White card base, and I've got four tiny stitch circles. These are the smallest stitched, um, you know, the stitched shape circles. I didn't mean to get white on this one. We don't want white. We want Coastal Cabana. Ah, just stuck my finger in it. Okay, now take your Coastal Cabana and we're gonna stamp and stamp off because we want it to be kind of light back here. Stamp, stamp off, and stamp. Can you guys see, am I out of the frame? I've run out of room again. I've worked myself into a tiny little square. All right, let's do one. Did I do this? Yeah, I did, down here. Okay, all right. Now this is the snowman paper and we're just gonna put, this is an inch and a half by four and a fourth and we're gonna put this down here the, towards the bottom. We're gonna stamp the thank you in real red. <laughs> you guys, good, I'm glad I convinced you. You know, here's a funny thing. Um, for the creative convention, Rhonda and I always uh, team up to design, make and takes together. And she, it's her event, so she usually dictates. And I don't mean that negatively. She usually will pick, which I'm glad because it would be very hard for me to pick. And when she picked this one, I was like, meh, okay. And I fell in love with it. It's so, so, so cute. All right, so we're gonna put, we're gonna layer these four circles here with dimensionals. And I'm gonna make this third one on top, okay? So see how I've done those. And then the third one where it says thank you, that's gonna be kind of pushed up at the top. And see how I did it over to the left side so that I can take my little embossed heart and put it right there. All right, now let's get our super cute, tiny glittery snowflakes. Doesn't Coastal Cabana and Real Red make you just happy? This color combo is one of my favorites. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of sporadically put these, but you know what, let's do these not with dimensionals. Let's do these with mini glue dots. We're gonna kind of put that one like it's behind and over a little. And this one will be, let's do it right there. Does that feel good? I don't know, I don't know if I like that. This is where I had it on the other one. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, but wait, there's more. And I didn't get them out. We need just a little more sparkle, you guys. Just a little more sparkle. Now you could use, I'm getting my dimension, I mean my um, rhinestones out. You could use these. These have the, these two colors, that would be great. But because I am sending these make and takes to you guys who put orders in, I wasn't gonna have enough of those probably. So I decided to just go with, see, when you're a demonstrator, you have to kind of plan differently. And if you were gonna make a bunch of these, you would need to think about that too. Because then you would need to buy a whole bunch of you know those packs if you were going to do, oh, there's some weirdness there. I need to cover that with a rhinestone probably. Whoops. All right, that was a fail. Try again. Let's do, I don't like that, but. Okay, something is going on. This little, I put a brand new um, thing here, um, a putty refill on my Take Your Pick tool, and it's just going crazy. It's just doing something really weird. Okay, how many rhinestones are too many? Who knows? I just wanna keep adding and adding and adding. Okay, there we go, I think that looks good. Fun, right? Super fun. Now, remember, here, over here, I did these two cards, exactly the same card, different seasons. So you could do this also, 
do a fall paper and do the leaves. And you could do the heart, you know, like in pumpkin pie. Do the bats. Mm, would you do the heart with the bats? Maybe. I don't know. Or just more bats. Okay. So again, that's the, that's the beauty of this set is that you're not locked into one season. Um, one design doesn't, you know, dictate to you what holiday you have to use it for. These are really good and can be interchangeable for whatever need you have. Now, hold on just a second. Don't leave because I want to show you a couple more things. I'm glad I remembered. And then I will let you go start your Friday. So here, let's see, I'll show you all the things we made, but let me show you something else. And I'm gonna post this card on Monday. Deb Snyder gave me this card. I need to take it out of here, in Michigan. And it is a perfect design. Colors are beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, oh. I'm gonna post this on um, Monday on my blog. Deb Snyder, where does Deb live? I know her name, but I don't know where she lives. Indiana, Goshen, Indiana. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, interchangeable, snowflake, um, leaf, bat, whatever you want. Really, really neat. Okay, so there's that one. And then my team, for our meeting this month, we made this little box with a matching tag, which, where's the matching tag for this one? See, like that. And look, we just put little bats all over. Nope, that's not the matching card, right here. Very cute, right? We use, that's a Halloween set. You could do Christmas, Valentine's, whatever, just change the paper and whichever stamp you want, the leaf, the heart, the snowflake. Really cute, right? Okay, have I convinced you? Have I convinced you that this adorable set needs to come to your house? I hope so because it's adorable and it's so perfect. And you know, if you craft with kids, I think this is a great set for kids. I think this is a great set really for anybody. I initially said, you know, this is kind of old school, I don't know, but then I played with it and it was nostalgic, I loved it. Um, really, really fun and easy to design with. Um, let's see, I was gonna say something else about that and now I totally forgot. Hmm, my gosh, Diet Coke, man. Look what it's doing to me. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Remember, if you put your order in by Monday at midnight, $35 minimum, I know what I was gonna say. This bundle is $36. So if you order the bundle, you have met the minimum and I'm gonna send you the three make and takes for your stamp set so you can make them. They'll go out next week, okay? Perfect, right? A really low cost bundle and it has four punches. And you know, there's a lot of stamps in that stamp set too. I meant to look to see how many, but there's quite a few. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Please let me know if you have questions. I did make a clean recording of these two, and they will be up under each photo by tonight, probably, okay? All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Bye, guys.